What if the Earth became bigger than the Sun? Once upon a time, in a bright, colorful universe, there was a little planet called Earth. Earth was a wonderful place filled with green forests, sparkling rivers, and exciting cities. All the animals, plants, and people lived happily together. But one day, something magical happened that would change everything. The mysterious event. It started as a typical morning. The sun was shining brightly in the sky, and the birds were singing their cheerful songs. Mia, a curious girl with a big imagination, was playing in her backyard when she noticed something strange. Wow! Look at the sky! Mia shouted, pointing up. Her best friend, Leo, rushed over. Is that a new cloud? Leo asked, squinting up at the sky. But it wasn't a cloud. It was a shimmering light that grew bigger and bigger. Suddenly, with a loud pop, the earth began to expand. Trees grew taller, mountains rose higher, and cities spread out like a giant puzzle. A bigger earth. Within minutes, the earth had become larger than the sun. The ground shook, and the air buzzed with excitement. Mia and Leo looked around in awe. Do you think we're dreaming? Leo asked, his eyes wide. I don't know, but this is amazing. Mia replied. As they marveled at their new, gigantic planet, the sun looked small and dim in comparison. The sunlight still shone down, but now it seemed like a little flashlight in a huge room. The changes begin. As the earth grew, everything changed. The animals began to act strangely. The birds flapped their wings harder to stay in the air. The fish in the rivers swam faster, trying to keep up with the expanding waters. Mia and Leo decided to explore this new world. They ran through the fields, which were now as vast as oceans, and climbed trees that reached up to the clouds. Look! That tree is huge! Leo exclaimed, pointing to a giant oak that seemed to touch the sky. Let's climb it! Mia said excitedly. They climbed higher and higher until they could see the entire landscape. The cities looked like toy blocks scattered across a giant tabletop. But then they noticed something odd, the sun was starting to dim. The dimming sun. As the earth expanded, it began to block the sun's light. The once bright day turned into a twilight haze, and the temperature began to drop. The flowers started to close, and the animals returned to their homes, sensing that something was wrong. Mia, what's happening? Leo asked, worried. I think the earth is getting too big. It's blocking the sunlight. Mia replied, trying to stay calm. They hurried back to their town to find their friends and family. When they arrived, they found everyone gathered in the town square, discussing the strange changes. We need to find out how to bring back the sunlight, said Mr. Thompson, the town's wise elder. The Council of Animals. Mia and Leo suggested gathering the animals for help. They believed that if everyone worked together, they could find a solution. So, they called for a meeting in the park. Animals of all shapes and sizes came together, rabbits, deer, birds, and even the wise old owl. Thank you for coming, everyone, Mia said, standing on a rock so everyone could see her. We need to figure out how to bring back the sunlight. Does anyone have any ideas? The owl, with his big, wise eyes, spoke first. We must find a way to lift the earth higher into the sky so it doesn't block the sun. But how can we do that? Leo asked. The animals began to brainstorm. The rabbit suggested digging tunnels, the bird suggested flying up to the sun, and the deer suggested using their strength to push the earth up. The Great Plan after much discussion, they created a plan. The birds would fly high into the sky and gather as many clouds as they could. The rabbits would dig tunnels to create a strong base, while the deer would use their strength to push against the ground. I'll help too. Mia said. We can all work together. Everyone agreed, and soon the animals got to work. The birds flapped their wings, creating a strong wind that pushed the clouds together. 
The rabbits dug tunnels to stabilize the ground. The deer gathered at the edges of the town, ready to push. The lifting ceremony. Once everything was in place, they held a special ceremony. Mia stood in front of everyone, holding a small flag that represented their unity. On the count of three, we will push together, she announced. One, two, three. With all their strength, the deer pushed against the ground, the birds flew upwards, and the rabbits dug deeper. Slowly, together, the sun peeked out from behind the earth, shining. Suddenly, the sunlight flooded back into the world. The warmth spread through the fields, and the flowers opened up again. The animals cheered, and Mia and Leo hugged each other in joy. We did it! Leo shouted.